question is, why do people write? Anyone have an answer? I mean, I can rattle them off. Talk about it. I think sometimes when you have a lot of things on your mind, it's good to write. That's one way to express it and bring it off to your mind. I agree. Does anybody else agree with that? Sometimes yeah. people write just to get things off of their mind. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's actually been a big thing that I've done. And you can do that in the form of journaling, book, poetry. That's a book. Look, you're very familiar with that. What are some other reasons why people write? Just to be able to remember your thoughts. And I know that's what, when I started journaling after I retired from full time work, I had that quiet time. And not knowing if I was going to put my thoughts into a book even. But yeah, I go back and I refer to it, and it's like I got all those thoughts already down. So, you know, rather than just try to remember in my head. <laughs> Writing to remember. And so she did it unintentionally back then, but sometimes we can do it intentionally now. Do y'all have planners or to do lists and things like that? Mm -hmm. Or like, oh, remember Paul, Sabrina, or whatever. I do that all the time. Yeah. That's another reason we write. We write so that we don't forget things. We write for memory. Some people might write for entertainment. I feel that there are some people who have these creative stories inside of their minds where characters and storylines are just coming to them and they just have to get it on paper, right? Some people write to get things out of them that's inside. It could be like anger, aggression, sadness. I had a person suggest one time, write everything down. The things that you say, you can't say it anymore, just write it down. Like just that one step of writing can be ridiculous, right? So, uh, what were you gonna say? Healing. Healing, healing, writing for healing. So, we can conclude that people write for different reasons. There's no right or wrong reason. People just write, okay? Yes. I think people write things, especially like poetry, to crystallize their emotions. I love that. As, as they remember, an event, it's no longer just a remembrance, it's an emotional reliving through an experience. And it is the poet right the there. The poet is I right agree. there. I agree. I agree. People write for so many different reasons. And in, um, in all of them, I believe it is very important to write. So here's another question. I have my own ideas about what people write. I would love to hear what you guys feel that people write. One is poetry. We know people write poems. What else do people write? History. History. I like that. People write history. Sharon, it looks like you have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> emotions again. Oh, emotions. People write their emotions. People write their ideas, their stories, their dreams. People write fiction work and non-fiction material. People write funny jokes. People write short stories. People write love letters. <laughs> so I had this opportunity of speaking in Bedford at a retirement center. And one of the things that a lot of that community did, like the women in that community, they wrote letters, love letters, cards. Like all of them had this history of just writing. Now these women were also maybe 75 and older, so maybe there was a time where they only had pen and paper and they could write. But that was something that was really meaningful in their journey. There were like six women who write all like we write letters and we write cards and like every year for Christmas I write my own card for every single person. I just never I guess I just don't do that myself, so I was so amazed. But they like they they said they like doing encouraging messages or their thoughts about other people and they like to write letters and let people know how they feel about them. I thought that was really interesting. So people write everything. People write notes, people write reminders, people write stories, people write anything and everything. That means you guys can write anything and everything. This is a good question. We did this too with the last class. Um, when do people write? In the morning. In the morning. <laughs> That's actually a really good time to write. It's before the day is. It's before all those people start calling, texting you. It's before doctor's appointments. You know what I'm saying? 
first thing in the morning, even if it's just 10 minutes, that's 10 minutes that wasn't stolen from you that day. And that's good, because right in the morning, what else did you grab? Fresh water. <laughs> the whole house is asleep, the world is shutting down, it's just you and your notebook or your computer right at night. Well, if you're talking about a time frame, so I'm getting this wrong. I think I, I'm saying like when they are distressed, when there has been like an argument and they're full of feelings and they're just going to not cope. When they're distressed or after major events. Because people do. People mm -hmm. write when they're frustrated, people write when they're sad. Mm -hmm. And that feeling can happen in the morning, it can happen in the afternoon, yes. and it can happen at night, and will cause them to. I love that. So there's no limits to the reasons why we write or what time we can write. Everybody at any time can write. You can write right now. You can write, I wouldn't suggest this, but at a stoplight, drop something down real quick. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it though. share their writing? Newspaper. Newspaper, that's a good one. So that can come up in our last session. That's a really good one. Okay, newspaper. We all know they share them in books. Where's somewhere else you can share your writing? If you have something that you... Yeah. Podcast. A podcast. That is ingenious. I love that. You can even read chapters of a book and talk about the subject material through a podcast. We talked about podcasts. Yeah. I've heard that on podcasts or two. Um, where else do people share their writing? There you go. Right there in the pulpit. They wrote it out and they're sharing it. They're speaking it. And that's something that we should all realize that we don't have to limit our words to physical paper. Right? Yes, it would be great if you all walked away with a book or several books, like that's awesome. But let's not neglect online journals. Let's not neglect something that you um, wrote being spoken over the radio station in a pulpit on a stage. These are all your words. And they can be expressed and shared in so many different avenues. So a book is just one way. But get on a podcast. Get online and read something. YouTube is a free resource. You can watch people. I actually do this, y'all. I listen to books that people read online. I just, I don't have to have a book. I could be in my car and I could be listening to, you know, I could be washing dishes, doing anything, listening, I'm always listening to books. Okay, now this is gonna be a time where everyone's answer is gonna be different and I want you guys to just honestly share how you feel about writing. I had a guy, his name was Bill, which is short for William, in my last session and he said, how do I feel about writing? He said, I don't know. I was like, you have no feelings or you just don't know your feelings? He said, I just don't want to answer this question right now. I was just like, okay. And like the facilitator in the back was just like, just let it go. But he was really like, I don't know. I don't want to answer this question. Like, okay. So we, he was the only person who didn't answer the question. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel? And it can, you can feel bad. There was a lady that I spoke to and I want to say she was 84 years old, and she said she likes to read, but she hates to write. Mm -hmm. She just said, she's like, I'm not a good writer. I'm a great reader. She said she could read books for hours, but she said she can't write. And that's her feeling, so she doesn't write. I don't get it to write. And once I finish writing, I feel bad when I read it, I say, wait. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> you have something to say. And you also have a real talent. If you can see that, it shows that you're on the this other person didn't answer the question, but they did answer the question. We, we speak with our bodies and our tone of voice, and what we don't say oftentimes says as much as we want to say. He did tell you something. As to a person saying they don't write, unless they're illiterate, we all do shopping lists. We all used to write checks where that was common, but now we do emails and texts. We are writing unless we are unable to write because we've never been book learned to do that. That is a really good point. I don't think, I don't think I've really acknowledged those
different things that I do as writing. When I say writing, I'm thinking I'm going in and intentionally doing something, but I'm writing. When I send an email, I'm writing every time I text somebody. I text a lot, like I'm a texter. So if I need to, I don't pick up the phone. You know, but we're always writing. But that could also be something that somebody doesn't like. You can just say, oh, I don't want to do this grocery list. They might not like it, but if they're doing it, they're doing it. They're doing it, and you can and do I, it. I finally need to say, I have to like my writing before I admit that I'm a writer. Um, hmm. Obviously, I think like you were saying, there's definitely emotions. And we have a tendency to tear ourselves down because we're not good enough yet. That, that, and you're not going to get better if you don't do it. And we all have to crawl and stumble and fall apart before we can get our pride going. Just that to the two. Yes. Um, it's just, I, I wanted to share yeah, about my um, seven and a half years ago when I retired from full time work, which I still work for. Come on, come on. I uh, went on a three and a half um, month <laughs> vacation of, with my youngest daughter in her city, but I didn't stay with them, I had my own dwelling. And I, well, this is funny. A lot of people don't like to hear me, you know, don't, don't like Facebook. But I have not missed one day on Facebook. Not one day. And I don't get on there for negative reasons. I get on to encourage, to communicate with family members. And I was so surprised how many people <laughs> were reading that. And <laughs> and, and you know, I'm talking about people all across the world, all across the you know nation, especially family members, and of all different types of religions. I have a Jewish cousin, you know, this is all types. But anyway, yeah. Then another, um, my other daughter lives out of town as well. She and her family. But um, I just just feel compelled <laughs> every day to write something encouraging and share and kind of expound or maybe uh, an article that's shared and just say, well, I'm grateful for this or just, you know, try to encourage someone who might be reading it. But I never knew. I, I, I've gotten it so bad now I can't even miss it. I'm going to miss because I never know if somebody's going to just get something out of it, you know, or whatever. And then I respond to others as well. Sharon, I'm guessing you might like writing since you tried this class out for the first time. Well, I do 